Hello. Hi. Hi. Picking up uh, for C-Mac, Brian Harley. Hello. Four of them, right? Yep. Can you get your receipt made up? Hold on a second. Thanks. There you go. Excellent. Thank, Thank you. you. Just got the CMAC Member of the Year Awards. Really excited for the member appreciation party this Saturday. And we're gonna give away some awards. I can't tell you who won. You gotta, you gotta watch uh, on Saturday. Ooh, look at those decorations. Well, that's a lot of burbs. Whew, what a day today. It was super busy. Had to hold things down at CMAC. Had a very tiny uh, short production there with a, with a new like religious nonprofit and then uh, held down the front desk a little bit more and had a couple meetings. Then I came home and we had to test some stuff that, that backdrop for the wedding. Uh, we're gonna put the, the, that gold backdrop up in the reception. But now I'm here and I want to test this new 14 inch M1 Pro MacBook with the LG 5K 2K display. I wanna know if this computer can push all these pixels and still edit and not need this external GPU. Well, obviously the external GPU isn't gonna work. But, you know, does this computer have enough power to push all these pixels and edit? Let's find out. I've got a Thunderbolt 4 cable from CalDigit. Even though this, is, this screen is only Thunderbolt 3, uh, this MacBook is Thunderbolt 4. Here's my 15-inch here's my 2018 MacBook that does need an eGPU to really, like, use, utilize the screen and still be able to edit smoothly. Let's just, let's plug it in. Let's find out. All right, we're getting power. So this, this cable is going directly into the display. The display is waking up. Does the computer recognize the screen? Not yet. Oh, there it goes. It sees, oh, wow. That's pretty cool. Let's go to display settings. Let's see. All right, yeah. The 5K display. Let's, uh, let's scale it, let's scale it down. Yeah, this matches size-wise a little bit better. It's funny, the spacing is more traditional Mac uh, vertical spacing on the menu bar, whereas the new mini LED display has a little bit more of a gap. And I also, I installed the Top Notch app. Top Notch here uh, helps hide, hide the notch if I turn it off. That's what it looks like, you know, with without it, the, the mouse gets lost up there. And if we turn Top notch again, let's hide your notch. Boom. There we go. It does use a little more graphics power to, to update for um, dynamic wallpaper. So, uh, you know, I've got, I've got this like purple wallpaper, but this will change as the day changes. Um, but I like it. So this is made, this is a totally free app. It's from the people who made Clean Shot and it seems to be working pretty good. Okay, so let me open a Final Cut timeline. I've got an SSD here. Okay, here's yesterday's vlog. Whoa, there's a little bit of burn in. Just, I feel like I didn't have this up for very long. I don't think I left the screen on for a long time. I guess I was working. Huh, well, I'll have to do a anti-burn in uh, video run. All right, run that tonight. Okay, here's yesterday's timeline. So this is mostly iPhone uh, 4K footage with uh, HDR, 10-bit, uh, 420. Um, yeah. Plays back. No real stutter. CMAX staff that's on vacation this week, so I get to hold it down at the front desk for a little bit. Haven't been up here in a while. It's nice. Yeah. All right, let's jump ahead. Is, huh. Something's going on with the color space here. What's going on with the screen? We got we got weird burn in, and it's overexposing. What if I bring this back down onto this display? Yeah, the color looks right here. So it must just be. 
some sort of setting here. Let's see. Picture, custom LEDs. Oh, there's like an HDR. Oh, DCI-P3, that looks nice. Let's, let's do that. Yeah, I just have brightness settings. Okay, let's see what happens with the P3 color space. Yeah, that looks right, closer. That looks much closer, okay. So I think it would just have some color settings, but I burned in a little bit on Gilbert's screen, so let's find a, uh, let's go to YouTube and find a, make this full screen. Okay, I also have better snap tool to kind of snap like a Windows computer. I can do left snap, right snap, top snap to for full screen. And let's go to YouTube and find a 12, oh, 21 by nine. 21, nine, burn in, here we go, burn in fix. And we'll make this full screen and let this run. Hopefully that takes care of it. But it does seem that this 14 inch MacBook Pro with an M1 Pro chip in it, now it's the, it's the model that doesn't have any binning, so it's 10 CPU cores and 16 GPU cores. Seems to be powering this 5K display nicely. I'm very happy with this, uh, running running this 4K 10-bit footage and just not slowing down. Very happy with this. All right, that's it for today. I will see you tomorrow. Peace. Sure.